Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Knickknack Twin. And I wanted to share things that I got for Christmas from my family, friends, students, and things I found thrifting and bought online. So stick around. I know it's been a while. It's been busy. And yeah, this new year, one of my goals is to crank out some vlogs. But here's a nice little haul video. Let's start with I got some Amazon gift cards from my students, and I've been wanting the Kit Kat clock for years. My brother has a pink one, and my friend has a black one. I'm pretty sure it's a black one. I've been wanting a blue one in boysenberry. Do you remember at IHOP they had boysenberry syrup? They don't have it anymore, I don't think. Maybe they do. Anyways, I decided to splurge because I never wanted to pay $80 for these. Now they had a sale on the black ones, but I really wanted a blue one and I saw they had a limited edition galaxy blue, ooh. And yeah, I'm sad because I went to go turn it on right now, but I don't have, I have one C battery. I need two C batteries. So I need to go get some C batteries. I haven't had to buy those ever. Well, I have for other clocks. So <laughs> it's interesting they still use them. But they last a long time because they're huge, so. Anyways, yeah. I'm going to say this was a total of $86. But I got it with my students' gift cards, and I wanted to treat myself. That was my big splurge for Christmas for myself. Thank you, students. Be nice to me in the new year. Speaking of student gifts, um, we're doing Willy Wonka as a, our musical this year. Willy Wonka Kids. If you know anything about musicals, we've been doing junior musicals, which are an hour long, not as long as the Broadway's, but the kids' versions are 30 minutes or more. So we're doing a shorter one this year, but it's gonna be exciting, it's Willy Wonka. I can't wait to see the new movie, but they gave me a golden ticket game. And one student gave me a little kalimba. I like how it's kind of like acrylic and it's like a keychain. And, oh my goodness, this plays a, Da, 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 da. Um, music from Jurassic Park. And I can't do it. <laughs> I got it all wound to the correct spot, but I told my student that this is one of the first cassettes I ever had. I'm dating myself. And I used to cry to this song on my Dalmatian, 101 Dalmatian, 90s bedspread. Mm -hmm. Who knew 30 years later, a student of mine would give me a little music box and Jurassic Park is still as popular as ever. Let's see, any other student gifts I can show you? Oh, I have to show you. I got a lot of candy and baked goods and gift cards to Target. I was really blessed, but I thought this was a cute face mask. And I have to show you, this is my favorite card. She was so proud to give it to me. She knows I have a cat. Are you going to have a Merry Christmas? Um. But listen, they sing. Mm -mm -mm. I hope it's here. I'm not going to show any names. Isn't that cute? I showed my cat Storm and she her ears perked up. She's like, what is that? I wanted to show you this card too. This one, They had good cards for me this year. Isn't that cute? I love Star Wars. Uh, let's see. I did get one candle from a student and some mahogany teak wood. Um, you know, hand soap. And I got some tumblers. And of course, this is Yeti. It's a small Yeti one. And this one's Starbucks, the red one. Starbucks. <laughs> it's a Starbucks. I also got some wine from a teacher friend and some stress relief and some socks and all kinds of things. So my students showed me love and I was grateful. And let's show what some of my family members and friends showed me love. Um, my friend Scott gave me this. It's a Squishmallow because I, I bought my first squash, Squishmallow not too long ago. And it's a monkey and it's a banana, but isn't it cute how its name is Pierogi? Um, I think he got it for me because I had my first Squishmallow I found at Goodwill. You might have seen it, but it, I thought it was a banana, so I called it Nanner. 
um, but it's actually a tulip. So, um, anyways, he got me a real nanner. Oh, and my brother gave me Bob's Burger Burger book. Love it. And I've been wanting that for some time. This is one of my favorite gifts Aaron and Matthew gave me. I had this can for about two years now. I got it at New Braunfels Downtown Antique Mall for $10. This is, and this, it's actually a really popular thing Tiki people collect. And mine's in great condition for, it goes for about 20 on eBay. But someone created a, a Tiki mug that looks like it. And they, I mean, it even like, wow, feels like rust down there almost. I can just feel the tetanus. And they did a pretty good job. There must have been other versions of the can, can fields, because the coloring is different. But I thought it would be nice for y'all to see it side by side. Maybe they did the color differently on purpose. There's some minor details left out. But like I said, it could have been based off a different can. But yeah, I just love it. And then I asked my brother to pick me up at <laughs> Little Caesars. Pineapple Pepsi just for the can. I know I'll order. I also got Trader Vic socks. That's a Minahuni. And this is all from Aaron Matthew from Pete's Treasures. Check them out. You probably already know them if you were here. I got Suavecito Tiki Mug set, which I didn't know it was hair products, but they're little mini tiki mugs and they're so cute. And also, uh, they had to get rid of their t antique booth, so he let me pick out a whole bunch of stickers. I want to actually put some on my computer. And I've wanted this for a long time, and he got me this. I was jealous when he had it. It's, do y'all remember doing this to your leaves in the 90s? Oh my gosh, I just love it, and I collect pins. So, one of my favorite pins I have now. Thank you, Aaron and Matthew. And they also got me this. They spoiled me, y'all. I got uh, Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Enchanted Tiki Room Ears, which I... I bought Mickey ears in October because I had this Mickey shirt and it was for character day or Halloween or whatever, but it didn't fit well. And man, I wish I had these. Um, I could do it next year. It's really cute. So, uh, yeah, they got me other things like these plates. There are four different cocktail plates. One's a Singapore sling, which Aaron um, taught me how to make. Well, he had one in Italy, I think. But my big gift from them, besides that awesome tiki mug, is, oh my gosh, I finally have my own set of luggage. Uh, I haven't had a new three-piece set of luggage since I graduated high school. We won't talk about how long that was, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Aaron and Matthew. And I don't want to leave out my friend Hayden. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you things I got on my trip. I don't want to edit a special thing. It's a quick glimpse at what I got on my cruise ship, uh, Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas. And you'll see some mugs I bought to sell and to keep. And where was I going with that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, you'll see a bunch of tiki mugs that my friend Hayden gave me because he was gonna, he sold them on eBay and he had to close down his eBay shop because he's moving and there's some that I really wanted so check those out. So thank you, Hayden. But he also got me this from Trader Sam's. I want to go here so badly, but I love that mug. He also got me this when I went to, when he went to New York a few weeks ago. Not a little meatball. He said it was like a little Italy, Italy or something. And he got a shirt that said Daddy's Little Meatball. I don't know. I just thought it was a funny little shirt that he got me. And um, I'm including it in my Christmas haul from him. Thank you, Hayden. He also got me some Nikes. Love them, love the colors. Love them, love them, love them. And let's see. I got a bunch of gift cards from my family members. And another thing I got from my family members was Mandalorian white chocolate coffee. Up to Snow Good Brew. I can't wait to try that. Thank you. And I also got... Uh, candle from them and yeah I wanted to show you a few things that I bought for myself thrifting and yes I went to McDonald's because they brought back the nugget buddies and I had to get this now I didn't know who this guy was and I still want to look him up he's like an artist 
And guess which one I got? Did I get Don Bernice? Did I get Uptown Mo? Did I get Kerwin Frost? I saw a golden nugget that isn't even on this went for like $73 on eBay. Did I get these? Brick Wafutu, sorry if I mispronounced that, or Darla. Yes, I got Darla. Let's unwrap Darla now. Oh, let's look at this box. I love the collectible things McDonald's bringing back. And yeah, this was only like 12 bucks, but the packaging was amazing. Like the nugget came in this, you can see Darla, came in this separate from the box. And look, inside it was wrapped with this. Oh no, her head came up. And it looks like a cheeseburger wrapper. I'm obsessed. Darla, let's put your hair back on. But, oh, I miss, I hope they come out with more nuggets because who doesn't love those? They're just so cute. I will buy them whenever I find them if they're not too expensive. So that was a little treat for me. Now that I just came back from Dallas celebrating Christmas and at Daiso I got an onion bowl. I know, shocker. Um, and some cute erasers. And we just went to the Japanese area and um, <clears throat> Asian supermarkets like 99 Ranch in Plano. So I had to pick up a few things. These were at a thrift store with my brother. This looks like Hummel, but I don't know if it is. I saw someone spent about $20 or $11, $12 plus shipping. I got it for 30% off. So for this guy playing a euphonium or tuba or a baritone. And um, I think I have this, but it's a bitters. I only paid three something, so cute little things. I got this yesterday. I was so happy. Be on the lookout. Bolo. This is a cobalt blue Libby. I believe it's called Celestial. Made in USA. This mug alone sells for 40 to $60. It's got a tiny bit of a scratch on the glass, but not very, not too noticeable. Got it for $1.09. Their mugs are now two forty nine unless marked, and this wasn't marked, so it was a dollar oh nine. So yeah, I will sell that. And yeah, last but not least, I don't want to make. I want to make sure I don't leave things out. Again, I was very blessed, and I just want to share this and remember it. I bought this for myself, to go with my Santa, Whataburger stuff, and I found these three ornaments out of Flugerville. Goodwill. This thing's on one hippopotamus for Christmas. And, oh my gosh, I needed this ramen noodle cup. Instant noodles. That's not bad for an ornament and the same price for a chicken leg. Not bad at all. I love that. So, overall, great Christmas. Oh, let me show you a few more things. I always forget the things on the back. This is one of my favorite shirts that my mom gave me. Well, she, it's the only shirt she gave me, but one of my favorite present, presents. Oh my gosh, y'all. Gummy Bear Queen. Now, if you don't know me, I love gummies. If you know what I mean. Gummy Bear Queen. I love it. And, oh, my brother got me Texas State Marching Band shirt. Thank you, thank you. And I bought this at the Mits Mitsua Plano. That's one of the places I went to. I had to get a shopping bot bag for $5.99. Oh, and this was a shirt at Goodwill. I got a couple weeks ago, and it's made in Japan. It was $4.99. Look at that. It's very artistic, and I want to say the brand Fresh Prince made in Tokyo. So I just love it. It fits well, and yeah, thanks for watching my little winter, December, last of the year haul. Like I said, I was blessed, and um, yeah, Christmas is just fun to see family, and that's mostly what I've been doing, performing and seeing family. So um, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's, and I will talk to you later. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what's the favorite thing you received for Christmas, or what's your favorite gift you gave a family member or a friend. Bye-bye.